All right, so here's some real world um, problems that involve similarity. And this is the first one. Um, it says the triangles below are similar. Determine the missing side measure. So this does homework, but we're really just practicing solving some um, similarity figures or similarity problems. So in order to uh, solve these, I need to set up a proportion. So I'm gonna set up my word ratio first. Um, and I know that similar figures have corresponding sides. So before I even set that up, I'm gonna figure out what corresponding sides maybe I wanna use. Um, I can see that it looks like they have rotated this. With this long diagonal right here, I think I'm gonna use that because that's kind of easy to identify. Um, so I'm gonna use the 20 and it's corresponding to the five. And I can know that for sure because corresponding sides are across from their angles. And I can see, look, that this angle right here because it has one arch and this one here has one arch, okay, that these sides, um, that these angles are the same. So across from those angles are gonna be my corresponding sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as the small triangle and compare it to the big triangle. So my first ratio, is gonna be five and it corresponds to the 20. All right, so and then the second triangle, um, I know I need to solve for X, so I need to use that. And then I need to look for which side corresponds. Well, sometimes that's confusing and I'm just kind of guessing because they rotated it. But I can see that the X is across from the angle that has two little arches here. So I know the corresponding side in this triangle will also be across from those little two um, arches here, which is going to be this 8 down here. So I'm going to use the an x and it corresponds to the 8. Then to solve this, I cross multiply. So 5 times 8 is 40. That's equal to 20 times something, right? And then to find that, I divide. So 20 will go into 40 two times. So x is going to equal 2. All right, a rectangular piece of plywood has a length of 14 inches and a width of 19.6 inches, a similar rectangle. A piece of ceramic tile has a length of two inches. What's the width of the piece of tile? All right, so I can see that we're repeating length and width. And I'm solving for width. So those are the words I'm going to use, the length and the width. So in the first um, piece, it's the length is 14 and the width is 19.6. In the second, in the tile, the length, so I want to make sure I get in the right place, is 2. That's on top for me. The width is what I'm going to solve for, so I'm going to call that W, but it doesn't really matter what letter I choose. So I'm going to multiply. I know that 19.6 times 2, that's going to be 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1, um, 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So 39.2 is equal to 14 times W. And there's lots of ways you can write multiplication. In this case, since there's um, a letter here, I can just write the number and the letter right next to each other. That still means multiply. But if you're not used to that, you can put it in parentheses or use the dot. All right, um, so now to solve for this, I wanna divide the 14 into 39.2. It'll go into 39, it won't go into three, but it'll go into 39 twice. I'm gonna subtract 28. I get 11 and the decimal I may bring up and then I bring down the two. So now I'm dividing 112 by 14. And let's see. Um, I may not be sure what that is, so I'm going to just try, let's say, 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry your 2. Oh, that's 70. I can do a lot more than that. How about, how about 8? If I do 14 times 8, I get 32. Carry your 3. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Oh, that's exactly what I need. So I'm going to use the 8. All right, and so that tells me that the width is equal to 2.8, and this is being measured in inches. So my answer is 2.8 inches. All right, and number 3, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. All right, so here it would be helpful to draw a picture because they're giving me some pieces and that's hard to visualize without the, the picture. So I'm gonna draw two triangles and I'm gonna label these as A, B, C, and I know that's similar to G, E, F. And notice I put the letters, I went in the same order. So I started here and went B, C, so I start here and did E, F. 
that's kind of important. My triangles don't look necessarily like they're similar, but and that's just because I'm not very good at drawing. All right, so the value of EF, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna call that X. AB is three, so between A and B, that's three inches. Between B and C is four inches. And between D and E, it's 1.5 inches. All right, so now it's easier to see what's corresponding. So I'm gonna just call this the first triangle and the second triangle. So in the first triangle, three corresponds to 1.5, all right? So three corresponds to 1.5 in the second. And then in the first triangle, if I go back to that, the four corresponds to the X, all right? When I solve four times 1.5, I get six, but don't forget about the decimal, 6.0 or six. 6 is equal to 3 times x, but if I divide 3 into 6, it'll go twice. The x is going to equal 2, and again, I'm being measured in inches, so 2 inches. And um, we can use similar triangles to find the height of this tree. So you can see from the picture um, that this part down here, that's what they're calling the shadow, and then this is the actual height. So I'm going to use actual height and compare it to shadow here. So in the first one, the actual height of the man is three, and the actual and the shadow, his shadow is four. Okay, and the, for the second one, the actual height of the tree is what I'm trying to find. They call it H, and the shadow is 36. So multiply. 36 times three, 18 carry one is 108, equal to four times H. All right, so if I divide four into 108, four will go into 10 twice. I subtract, I get two, bring down that eight. We're going to 28, seven times, so H is gonna equal 27, and I'm measuring this in meters. So the height of the tree is 27 meters. And number five, a building cast a shadow that's 420 meters long. At the same time, a person who's two meters long casts a shadow that's 24 meters long. And um, how tall is the building? All right, so in this one, it might be helpful to have a picture, so it doesn't have to be a great picture. And then I have a building also making a shadow. Building. Um, okay, so um, it says a building cast a shadow. So the shadow would be where? On the ground, 420 meters. The same time a person, this person's two meters tall, he's casting a shadow, again, on the ground, right? 24 meters long. We want to know how tall the building is. So I'm looking for this part right here. So I'm just going to call that, I'll use H because they did go up here. All right, so set up your proportion. Again, I'm gonna use actual compared to the shadow. And the actual height of the man is two, and the shadow, his shadow was 24. And the actual height of the building is H, and the shadow was 420. So use your cross products. So two times 420, Zero for 840 equal to 24 times, oops, 24 times H. So I need to divide now by 24. So 24, I'll go into 84 three times. Three times 24 is 72. When I subtract, I get 120. 24, I'll go into 120 five times, and that would be 120. I have no leftover, and um, so this is H is going to be 35, and again I'm measuring this in meters, so 35 meters. All right, and the last problem: on a sunny day around noon, a 36 foot tall tree casts a shadow that's 12 feet long. All right, so I know right away maybe that I want to draw a picture. Let's see, the tree is 36 feet, the shadow is 12 feet, so that's going to be down here. At the same time, a person. It's standing next to the tree is six feet tall and has a, we don't know how long the shadow is. All right, so that's what we're looking for. So the part that we're looking for is on the ground because that's where the shadow would be. All right, so let's set up our proportion. We're gonna do again, actual to shadow. Actual height of the tree is 36 and a shadow is 12. 
The actual height of the man is six, and we don't know his shadows. All right, so to multiply, I'm gonna do six times 12. That's 72 equal to 36 times x. Now I divide by 36, and I can see that that's gonna be two. So x is gonna equal two, so his shadow, this is in feet, is two feet long. All right, thanks.